Merry Christmas, Dons. Welcome back to your weekly Cathedral Catholic television program. Thank you to everyone who donated on Giving Dons Day. All proceeds go towards improving the football field, track, and baseball field. It's officially Christmas season, and we are excited. Right, Santa? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Merry Christmas, Dons. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving break. Let's check out some charities with Abby. Hey Dons, in the giving spirit of Christmas, the National Honor Society is offering a ton of opportunities to give back to charity this season. Let's go talk to some leaders running drives here at school. I'm here with Allie and Emery, the two leaders of the sock drive. Emery, can you tell me what your drive is doing and where it's going? We're collecting socks to send them to the Father Joe's Village in San Diego. What type of socks should students donate? New socks, and we are not taking used socks at all, so new, definitely. And how can students participate in the drive? Uh, you can drop them off at a CC202 in Mr. Carl's room, and if you're a member of National Honor Society, you'll get one service hour for every $15 spent and max three hours. Thank you so much, guys. I'm here with Graziella, the leader for the Blankets for Warmth project. Graziella, what does your project do? My project is making fleece tie blankets for less fortunate kids for the winter season. And where is your project going? To the local chapter of the Project Linus organization. And how can students participate in this? Um, the uh, project is ending this week, but students can still get in contact with Project Linus and they can make their own fleece tie blankets. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. These are both really great opportunities to give back this season. Please find a way to donate or support these drives. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Abby. Always good to hear about charities in San Diego. Speaking of charitable things, Mission and Ministry has a sock drive for Father Joe's Village, so drop off some socks at the Mission and Ministry office. The drama department is now casting for winter and spring shows. Fill out audition forms in the cchs.asb Instagram bio. With finals coming up, it is easy to get overwhelmed. Let's check out Danny and Holden with some tips to survive Finals. Hey Dons, as finals week creeps up on us, it's normal to feel anxious and under pressure. So here are some tips for making it through these next two weeks. Welcome to Danny's Guide to Surviving Finals. The first tip is to create a study plan. This can be done by using a planner or even the calendar on your phone and setting times for studying each day of the week. Manage your time wisely and devote the most time to the classes you struggle with the most. Do not leave those for the night before. The next tip is to use smart study strategies. Research shows that we retain information better when we handwrite things, so take out your favorite pens and highlighters and create study guides or even flashcards to prepare. Also, if your teachers are offering resources such as practice tests or study sessions, use them. The last tip is to take care of yourself. It's easy to feel like finals are going to swallow you whole, but you got this. Eat well, drink water, spend time exercising, meditating, or doing whatever keeps you feeling sharp. And you guys, try to sleep at a reasonable time. Sleep is extremely important, so prioritize it if you want to feel and perform your best on these finals. I hope that these tips are helpful, and remember, you guys got this. Thanks, Holdman Danny. Surviving Christmas season at Santa sure is difficult. Good thing I got my L's. Sophomores and juniors with a GPA over 3.75 now qualify for NHS if you're not already in it. Applications are due on January 31st. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Caro in the CC202. Now, we'll pass it over to Aiden with sports. What's up, Dons, and welcome back to this episode of CCTV Sports. To start us off, the girls cross country team not only won CIF, but they also finished third at the state meet. The boys team also performed amazingly, finishing second at CIF and qualifying for state. Blake Levy, Matthew Jabro, Scarlett Martin, and Sophia Kaiser, and more, were awarded with CIF honors. Amazing job, both teams. The boys' soccer team started out their season strong, improving to 1-0. After taking down Scripps Ranch 2-1, they're looking forward to taking two away games next week against Canyon Crest on Tuesday, where they beat last year 4-2, and Southwest San Diego on Thursday. Football has made it into the running for state and have their first round match against Orange Lutheran. They will face off against their 10-4 opponent at Orange Coast College tonight at 7.30. The surf team is continuing practices over this winter season. Here's Max for more on the team. 
Hey Dons, I'm here with Elena, Adrian, and Ryan, and we're here to dive into the surf team. When and where is your next competition? Our next competition is December 11th at Oceanside Harbor. How do tournaments work, and what do judges look for? Judges look for like a point-based system, and so basically the more waves you catch and the more tricks you do, the more points you get, and you can proceed if you have the most points in the, in the heat. Last year's season was canceled due to COVID. How do you guys plan on bouncing back this year? Because of COVID, we haven't had any practices or comps, so we're really excited to bounce back and start competing and taking it a lot more seriously this year. Who are some surfers we should look out for? Travis Ridgeway, uh, Luna Smith, one of the girls on the team, Kevin Kratz also, super good, powerhouse. He should take home some dubs. How does the team manage to stay consistent with water conditions and weather changes? Well, any bad day is a good day, so we we'll take advantage of bad conditions. Yeah, we just send it. Huge shout out to Kenny and Luna for advancing the last tournament. Until next week, Dons. What's up, Dons? This week we returned from a bye week after winning Open Division champs against Carlsbad with a game against Orange Lutheran. There's two players I found on this team, Malik Blackman and Hayden Faraday. They both play wideout. Malik averages three touchdowns a game and Hayden averages one touchdown a game. On our side of things, we have some good DBs like Madden Framo and Marcus Radcliffe. Someone that I think would have a good game this week is Darian Whaley. These past few games, he's been doing really good as a running back and getting lots of touchdowns. Congrats, man. Keep putting in that work. The boys' basketball team also began their season with monster performances. With their 62-51 win over Mission Hills on Wednesday, they improved to 5-0, showing that they are yet again a major threat. They look to move the win streak to six with their game against Torrey on Saturday. Good luck, boys. The girls' basketball team started off with a respectable 2-2 two two record and play Carlsbad next week on Wednesday to look to improve to a winning record. That does it for sports this week. Now, over to social for some Christmas-themed updates. Hey Dons, are you ready for some Christmas trivia? I know I am. Santa was nice enough to go and ask you all some questions. Now let's take a look. Where was Jesus born? Jesus? Um, Nazareth? Nazareth? CJ, what is the most popular Christmas song to date? It's the one by Mariah Carey, trust. It's either, okay, so it's that, then we got Jingle Bells, oh, Michael Buble, Michael Buble, oh. How many reindeer do I have? Eight. Uh, about eight. eight. Uh, I'm going to say seven, seven. There's eight plus Rudolph, which is nine. No. Um, eight. eleven. Eight plus Rudolph, which equals nine. Eleven, twelve, I'm going to go with ten. I don't know about you, but those are some pretty hard questions. I know. If you guys think you know the answers to any of them, or if you just want to take a wild guess, go to our Instagram story and tell us what you think at Dawn's News. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks, Hayden. I do love me some milk and cookies with my sports. Me too. Me three. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dons. Oh my gosh, that was horrible! Okay, hey, ho, 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 ho. Thanks, Aiden. I do love me some sports. Ho, ho, ho. Can you stop talking? <laughs> Thanks, Aiden. I do love me some sports with my milk and cookies. <laughs>